Aside from perhaps Christmas and Columbus Day, social justice left is love wrecking no holiday more than Halloween because it's primarily about fun. The left's sworn nemesis. Really? I had no idea that Halloween is just about fun and that there's a war on it rather than the truth, which is that the devil is trying to hold on to his lies and our belief in his lies for dear life. Peace and blessings, family. Sister Ajli, this is just hysterical to me. I don't know how long this share is going to be, but I entreat you to watch the whole thing because it's going to be very informative. Um, and there's this story that I ran across originally in Zero Hedge uh, that there's a war on Halloween, but this is proof of just how desperately the devil has to control the opposition in order to just toss all of everybody, black us, even conservative white people who may be Christians and know the truth about Halloween, how they got to toss it all in. Because as I said at the very beginning, uh, this ain't, oh, it's these lefties out here, these social justice leftists, and it, uh, it's all about fun. That's how they have their last kernel of hope uh, that they can control uh, how we as black people are seen. That's why they use us as the face of all of their debauchery uh, so they could get away with it a lot more easily. Because I know you and I, we definitely aren't any uh, social justice leftists. These folks are determined to, if not win, just they have a war going on against the one and only creator. Now, in doing that, they'll just throw blame wherever it is. It's a controlled opposition where they're saying the reason for this war on Halloween, where school districts are canceling Halloween for safety and inclusion, uh, but they're welcoming Drag Queen Story Hour. They're saying it's all these uh, liberals out here. I know I ain't no daggone liberal, and I know I sure as hell don't worship no daggone Halloween. More and more of Black Us no better than to celebrate this bophometic, satanic bunch of madness. Now, if you look up, you try to find the origins of Halloween, and there'll be things in the Google search that says, oh no, it's a pagan holiday, it's ancient Celts and Irish and the British, and you know, they were celebrating all of this stuff, and it's not connected with Satanism. Let's take a trip. First, children. Children are integral to all of these horrible, horrible, um, just echoes of what used to be child sacrifice. And you will notice that the whole trans sutured up folks are pivoting on the children. It reminds me of this just absolutely deplorable Baphomet statue. And these folks, they just, they throw everything in with everything. They've got the upside down satanic pentagram star here, uh, which is also an abstraction of the goat with the horns on the top and then it's part of the republican elephant they turned the stars upside down come on now really so all of this it, I, it this is so disgusting first off you see the caduceus right there and that's got a whole bunch of complicated origins in and of itself much of this they they want to hearken it back to 
ancient Kemet. But ancient Kemet was just terribly too close to the cave folks and they were influenced so that there's things that are going on in ancient Kemet that definitely you, you just got to question. Oh, we want to keep the seed pure, so I'm going to marry my sister. Oh, hell no. Um, and this is representative of his phallus. And there's children standing right there, right? Um, yeah, no, 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 no. This is Lucifer. It's the goat. It's just having no higher human intelligence you are just acting on your impulses on whatever Alistair Crowley let your will your inability to think further than your own hedonistic materialistic gluttonistic yearnings that's what this is about and the fact that they have a young black boy there and looking and they're both looking up to him so worshipfully that's because they need any adherent to this mess to be as clueless as possible and it's the sacrifice of the children not only the actual age-wise children but if you have a mind where you're not going to ask any questions you are on the auction block and yes, that's the Capitol building in the background. I don't know which one or whatever. I'm just saying. They were are putting these guys up all over these public governmental buildings. And when I look at them blaming the, you know, fact that people are saying, eh, I'm not really feeling a satanic holiday. I, I look and I really, they normalize every single degenerate thing they have to offer is such as you know putting makeup on little girls the very first time I saw this I said this is all wrong all wrong right this little black child shouldn't even be up in here they'll bring us in so that they can make it say see the black people they they like it so it's not anything wrong no we are operating when it comes to these folks with the minds of children they're doing their darndest. They used to have us. We were so childlike uh, that we would just, oh, Christmas, oh, Thanksgiving, oh, Halloween, whatever they said you're supposed to celebrate, uh, that's what we did. And what they are saying amongst these brainwashed Republicans that I are, were on Zero Hedge is that they don't want the children to have fun. I know, <laughs> truth, righteousness, submission to the one and only who brings sanity to our lives. You can't have more reproducible fun than that. All of this stuff, let's keep on journeying. Now, this is a satanic just list of their favorite holidays there's many many of them and i would include thanksgiving in them but right here is good old sam hine uh, that once again they like to say oh no 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 that's not satanic that's irish that's celtic uh but that said it turns out that the ancient celts were just the phoenicians the phoenicians who worship Moloch and sacrifice their children to them. And as it turns out, on top of adopting different, uh, you know, traditions and practices uh, from these Phoenicians, including the baking of barn brock for Halloween, uh, speckled bread, uh, they also adopted the ritual killing of children. So when the Roman Empire expanded, it stopped human sacrifice. I re obviously, they just transported it. It, it. Probably that might have been the reason why some folks just sort of said, well, we got to get on out of here because they didn't change the worship of these evil entities. Uh, but 
One group that the Romans called the Gauls, otherwise known to us as the Celts, ritually killed children in much of ancient times. I, I don't need to, I just wanted to show that I'm not kidding. And speaking of Roman, the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican, placed a statue of Moloch at the Colosseum entrance. The Colosseum is owned by the Vatican. And uh, they were called out on it. And it's really interesting, the timing and the title that they were giving to Moloch. They put that statue up in 2019 and they took it down in March of 2020, right when Ooh, a plague got started. How about that? Or hey, I can't say anymore because the West actually envies China's tactic in just eliminating their citizenry. They were, they envy that, all right? <laughs> so the censorship is still here and they wish they could do more and they're building up to do more because they depend on our ignorance to not understand there's a war against life itself happening. And so they took it down right at the outset of what got everybody locked down. Moloch, bringer of plagues, will be removed as Pope begs for forgiveness, asking Jesus to calm the storm. Woo, you got to... Just unattach yourself from mainlining white Jesus because there's more I could say on him and him always being around children in those paintings and his goat beard, okay? I'm just saying, you don't need any go-betweens and Jesus didn't make the universe. He didn't make the lungs you use to breathe with, all right? There's the one and the only. I'm just saying, I'm not... I understand he's a, you know, real wise man, uh, but he wasn't the only one, okay? I, I, I'm not trying to deflect because people get real upset with all of that. I'm just saying, leave the white Jesus at least alone, right? So the Pope was, you know, saying, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Did you hear anything about Moloch in front of the Colosseum, let alone the Pope? apologizing for it, let alone that it's Moloch, bringer of plagues. Hmm. And so, yeah, it's the Celtic origin of Halloween, uh, but it's all white folks, just like, you know, Kanye picking out just one type of white folks when it's all white folks. Because another thing that I've discovered is they, the, uh, they'll say, oh, the jack-o'-lantern, the pumpkin, carving and putting a light in the pumpkin. Oh, that's American. No, actually it harkens back to ancient Celts who used to carve these faces into turnips or beets and put a little light inside of it. So they just transported that over to the U.S. and because there were pumpkins over here and they were bigger that's what led they don't need you to know uh to this where folks don't even know we, we we don't know what we're doing when we carve these things out and as i said so going over this article it you know there's this whole uh backstory of trickster jack or something or whatever who used to go around just playing games on lots and lots of people and it's all it's got this legendary sound to it where they don't specify the details like playing tricks no they were talking about child sacrifice and there were some families that didn't want their children to be sacrificed it's other ones who volunteered because if they had one baby too many it was a late really late stage abortion and so in order to say y'all y'all I'm I'm down with Jack uh, they would put 
the little burning turnip or beet in front of their doors. That's why now you put the jack-o'-lantern outside your door because that was the one hope that, you know, no, I gave money. I gave because that's the, one of the th- other ways that these little groups would give money. Give us money and we're going to kill your child. Um, and that was the way to say, I gave, I gave at the office, right? And that's why, you know, they also have children will still knock on the door and say, trick or treat. They meant it. It wasn't actually a trick or anything. It was, we're going to just take somebody in your family. Like extortion, what we are through the movies familiar with, but like they're trying to sanitize slavery into, it was just indentured servitude. Uh, They've sanitized the horror that they put their people through so that now it's all cute, it's fun, hell no. And in this article, they say that they would, uh, the cage was what the turnip was supposed to represent because they would also take the prisoners and put them in cages and string them up in trees and burn them alive. Okay, so you, you, no, you, you just, this whole thing, it's not for us. It's not about us. It's them. And that's also written in the Bible. Leviticus 18, 21. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Moloch. Neither shalt thy profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. And he defiled Topeth, which is in the valley of the children of Hinnom, that no man might make his son or his daughter to pass through the fire to Molech. And so the truth is what is shining a light on the evil origins of Sanhaim, of just, you know, Halloween, whatever, of Christmas. That's like, once you get all these demons to come on up and join you, uh, then by Christmas, you just take your children right on up to big old red Santa Claus, which is nothing but the burning beast, okay? You all wait in line so you can sit on Santa Claus's lap. These are metaphorical sacrifices so that your children are ushered into a mindset of materialism, which then makes you more inclined to just look at everything in a trivial manner so that you're a hedonist, you're a, you know, gluttonous. They even have the new Disney, you know, anime where a little girl is overweight And are they going to say anything about the different physical maladies that come from carrying too much fat on your body? They're going to make it, you can't even say the word fat. Come on now, let's all just just separate, step away. Most sides taking these dudes out and they're doing the best they can to act like it's something else uh, but the truth. Thank you to everyone who has been purchasing the books over the years and supporting my work because you are helping me to get to the next level. And, and that's a beautiful thing. I, I, uh, I so appreciate you. So keep if you haven't bought these books, you need these books without a doubt. You'll find them on Amazon and you can read the reviews there, which are astounding. And then you'll find them on 25,000yearscycle.net where you can find my King's Guidance and all of these at a wonderfully discounted rate. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. It's a healing thing. And this is what we do because we are a mighty people who love the truth more than some satanic child sacrificing Halloween.
peace and blessings straight black family pride and we have more than a chance we have heaven